Well, we see it all the time. Animals found neglected or abused, and it leaves many of us wondering what happens to animals once they are rescued from that abuse. Cronkite News reporter Kristen Keogh went down to Maricopa County Animal Safe Hospice to find out what comes next for these animals. Kristen? Toby, it's a problem that never seems to go away, but the Sheriff's Department has a special unit that's aiding in the recovery of animals who have been the targets of violence. And you may be surprised to see who their caregivers are. Judith Maldonado is a criminal, but to Hawkeye, she's a best friend. It's like we bond. The Maricopa County Animal Cruelty Investigative Unit rescued Hawkeye when they found him neglected, and now he has a home in a jail cell. Someone has to look out for the animals. For Sheriff Joe Arpaio, looking out meant turning the First Avenue jail into a safe house for victims of animal cruelty and inmates into caretakers. Today, more than 1,000 animals have been saved. The MASH unit gives the opportunity for dogs like Tiger to be rehabilitated and eventually adopted into a home again. And Sheriff Arpaio believes it gives the inmates an opportunity to improve themselves. Psychologically, I think it helps the uh, inmates, uh, makes them better people. When they get out of jail, maybe they'll follow the law and not come back. But while they are in jail, the animals seem to be bringing out a softer side. I, can't, I don't know how to explain this, but I mean, it's just something that I, I really enjoyed working with animals. A softer side that you can even find in the man that many call America's toughest sheriff. Everybody loves animals. Doesn't matter what walk of life, what profession, what you've done. That makes us feel good. I mean, I mean, like, hey, they like they know who you are. You know what I mean? What Hawkeye doesn't know is how lucky he is to have this shelter, and how lucky Judith is to have him. The MASH unit keeps the animals until they make a full recovery. They also provide spaying and neutering and provide vaccinations. If you'd like to adopt one of these animals, log on to MCSO.org. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kristen Keogh, Cronkite News.